Here's a small video to celebrate a new release. Radio version 3 is a massive update to the library that is being used to display your machine learning models in a web application. It uses one of my favorite tech stacks. There are new components like Model 3D, Dataset, or Gallery. The documentation is full of snappy demos, and there's a new Blocks API that kinda looks like a mix of Streamlit and Dash without decorators. If you're like me, you've been looking at Gradio for a while from afar, and now is the perfect opportunity to actually jump into the Gradio boat. And here are three things that you need to try in Gradio blocks immediately. The layout system. Create a Gradio blocks object and call a number of components inside it so they appear in order on the web page. Add a row in the script and move the components inside so they are displayed horizontally in the row. Components are not equally distributed in the row. You'll need to create a set of columns inside a row and then spread the different components inside those. Put multiple components inside a column and they will be rendered vertically. If you are courageous, you can nest rows and columns in one another but things can get pretty hectic. Using box you can group components together in a big card. If you don't like the space between components the group context will remove padding from those. Those cat images take too much place. We can separate them using the tab system into two distinct tab items context. The event system. Most components can listen to a set of events that is defined inside the documentation. For example, text box is a change event which reacts to typing values and button is a click event for clicking it. When an event is triggered, it runs a callback method that processes the value of the image input component back into the output component. Let's build an app to say hello to a user. Put a text box and a markdown element side by side. Create a callback method that takes a string as input and returns hello input as result. Define the change trigger event on the text box. Every time the user types something, the value of the text box goes into the callback and the markdown value instantaneously becomes the output from that callback method. You're not limited to change a component value. If you return a component update from the callback method, the update will be propagated to the output component. Other stuff. If you prefer working with Jupyter Notebooks, I can tell from my students, they prefer Jupyter Notebooks, you can run Gradio directly inside Jupyter or Collab Notebooks. The launch method detects if it's run in a notebook and will embed the app accordingly. Add the share equals true argument to generate a public link for 72 hours. This is a great way to demo your work to a remote colleague. If you want to embed a Gradio app in the long run, you can host it on Hugging Face Spaces and use the URL in your HTML. For more inspiration, there are loads of bigger concrete examples in the Gradio Block Spaces organization with lots of cool machine learning demos that you can give a try. Gradio Blocks is still very new, so this is the perfect moment to give some feedback. If you don't understand something in the documentation, if you find a bug in the library, don't hesitate to drop an issue on your GitHub. Or if you're not sure, you can go on the Discord or on the community forum. I don't know what's in the works, but I'm pretty sure more stuff is coming, things like live reloading, styling and theming, javascript methods, streaming video, and I admit if I could integrate Svelte components with that event system, I would be pretty amazed. Tell me in the comments below if you want to see more Gradio, I'm back to breaking the library and finding new bugs, so I'll see you around, bye!